Okay, not a bad first attempt. There are things that I would change, uh, but it was good to learn from this. Maybe a little bit too much texture. I'm going to need to make more paper for sure. That went quickly and I'm glad I used these scissors. They have a spring versus like more traditional scissors. They're actually really comfortable to use. And I think these will work well for like fine cutting things. This is my favorite type of glue stick, the Elmer's Extra Strength. Sometimes it comes in a board mate line and sometimes it comes in, let me, let me see, where is it? A craft bond line. They're kind of, they're basically the same thing. The whole point of this was to learn from mistakes and try things and figure it out. I'm totally new to air plants, so I thought it would be fun to try this mystery box of air plants that I saw on Etsy from Rainbow Cupboard. I've never had any air plants before in my life, and so I wouldn't even know what to pick out. So I liked the idea that they put all the beginner friendly type of air plants into this box. I'll link it down below if you want to know which box I got, but it came with the cutest little air plants and also little tiny accessories and a couple of goodies like a crochet hanger and also a bracelet. This was a really fun box to get. Totally recommend this for air plant newbies. I'm still managing to keep my air plants alive if that counts for anything. I got these ceramic hangers a while ago on Amazon, but I didn't like the rope that they came with, so I replaced it with tan paracord, which I think looks better and is stronger. Made a little cushion there for the air plants to sit in. I was worried if they were too like bunched up inside these, but so far I think they like it. <laughs> and I hang these in my bathroom because it's the most humid place in this house. Since I live in the desert, it's very dry here. I have the smaller ones around hanging out in like stone things that I have on my console. Air plants are a little bit different to water. They need like a bath or misting and the box does come with instructions, but I just plug them into my app that I use. It's called Planta. It's a water scheduling app for any kind of plant. They have a whole database that you can plug in your plant name and I can tell you without this app, <laughs> my plants would not be alive. I keep forgetting that I have this craft paper and even that would have been like a cool background, brown bag kind of paper. This one was also very experimental. It's abstract, similar to the other one, but I do like this one better than that one. It's like if there was a bowl that just uh, tossed a bunch of blueberries in the air. Mm -hmm. 